Photojournalist and White House photographer Pete Souza spent years capturing the drama of two historic presidencies, eight years with Barack Obama, eight years with Ronald Reagan. I know what happens in the Oval Office. With behind the scenes access to highly classified meetings, ornate state dinners, and presidential trips around the world, Souza had a close up view. His work on display in a new documentary, The Way I See It, chronicling his time with both leaders. I was the official photographer for arguably the most iconic Republican president of our generation and the most iconic Democratic president of our generation. Like that's, that, that's the thing that kind of floors me even to this day. He was there for the great events, Reagan at the Berlin Wall. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And for the tragedies, Obama in Charleston. Amazing <laughs> grace. But he says his favorite photos were personal, human, unexpected. Like when President Obama bent over so five-year-old Jacob Philadelphia could touch his hair. It was a fleeting moment. You've got this young African-American kid who's touching the head of the president of the United States that looks like him. His work serving as an intimate window into who the presidents were as fathers, husbands, and friends. What was so special about the relationship between Ronald and Nancy Reagan? It was very genuine. There was a, a deep love and deep compassionateness uh, between them that was the same behind the scenes as it was uh, in public. They were each other's best friends. There's no question about it. His pictures also reveal character, Obama's competitiveness and pride over a block shot against his much younger and taller aide, Reggie Love, and the enormous responsibility of being commander in chief. Souza was in the Situation Room capturing the tension during the bin Laden raid in 2011. But the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden. You've got the most powerful people in the executive branch of our government all jammed into this tiny little room, and yet they were powerless. Sousa left the White House with Obama, but since then has stepped back into the political fray, taking to Instagram to draw contrasts between Presidents Obama and Trump. What has inspired you to speak out politically? Well, I think the, the office of the presidency um, should be respected. I like to think that this film will show how a president should behave, how a president should be a leader, how a president should deal with other people. A photographer's role, he says, requiring the kind of total access given him by Barack Obama and Ronald Reagan. The trust that these first families granted Pete Souza was so deep that when President Reagan died years after he left office, Nancy Reagan asked him to photograph the funeral, the final journey home to California, and the burial. One last chance for him to capture those poignant moments for history. Wow. Savannah? Hoda now? Well, Pete has certainly, yeah, seen it all. And just think about how much photography has changed since the 80s, for, for being a photographer for Ronald Reagan, mm -hmm. now with digital photography right. for President Obama. So, you know, he's really crossed generations as well. Thank you, Andrea. The book, excuse me, the documentary is called The Way I See It, and it'll be released in September.